ladies and gentlemen, we have been working all day and now it's after work. I'm Joe. Welcome back to Nintendo Spotlight, where every week Nintendo games come out. On, sorry, games come out on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Um, we haven't we haven't showcased a lot of 3DS games yet. There hasn't been uh, much of anything out. I'm waiting waiting for January, hopefully, uh, or just early 2018 in general for Alliance Alive. But anyway, we're here talking about the Nintendo Switch. We're here showcasing some games that have come out this week first one being rxn raijin i think that's how you say it i hope so um this is a vertical shoot 'em up game a shmup if uh you want to you want to shorten all that together and this one is more on the higher pricing side in terms of uh how much it costs it is 38 dollars on the eShop. It's from Guilty Co. and published by Kayak. And I, I I love me some bullet hell games. You guys know how, how I have a guilty pleasure for vertical shooters. So this is right up my alley. I had to pick it up and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to spotlight this. this. This is getting on spotlight. So Guilty Co. Kayak, here's your spotlight. Let's do this. Uh, we're going to go on my auto save. There's multiple save files too. There's multiple characters that you can pick and each character has their own different specials and whatnot. So we're actually going to pick up where I left off, which isn't too far from the beginning of the game. I'm only up to chapter three. There's a whole story thing going on here that splits off into various different trees as you go forward. And it seems like there's gonna, you can spend at least a few hours going through multiple multiple you know stories and chapters and whatnot so like some of these have like sub parts and whatnot i don't know if you need to do both of them to advance forward or if there's multiple endings or anything like that um so we're just going to continue where i left off origin of myths as far as story goes i'll be honest i have not been paying too much it. attention um because my game for some reason started off in the Japanese language so I was like oh okay I guess this was a mistake but no you can actually go into the options and change it afterwards I don't know if it was just me for some reason that has something maybe set up the wrong way but you can change it to English so now I'm uh, sort of seeing what's going on the other part of it is that the the audio like when the story stuff comes up it's in the middle of gameplay and this being a bullet hell i have no time to really pay attention to reading a corner so i've just been playing the game and before we get started i just want to do one more audio check just to make sure everything's been pretty good it's 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 sounding clear so all right so without further ado here's the characters that we have um i've been clearly using rxn 202 um there's 303 and 101 who again they all have different power-ups so we're gonna go continue with my homegirl RXN202. I don't know her real name. <laughs> Again, this is just, I just love top down shooters in general. So, the way you're shooting around is your A, B, X, and Y buttons. You got these different spread shots that you have going on here. See, dodging is a big part of bullet hell games because of all the bullets that are coming in your face. Zero, what's going on, homie? Oh, God. So if I apologize if I'm limited in chat while we get through this battle. We got our shields down at the bottom. That's your health bar, basically. So you got to pay attention to that pretty closely. Hello. Ooh. Hello. See, yeah. Uh, the first three stages of this game are not this bullet hellsy, so now we're really getting to the thick of it. I, I may die. A lot. <laughs> Yo, Zero, what's going on, homie? That was the end of the stage. Okay, so yeah, that's the other thing. Some of these stages are short. Some of these stages are a little bit longer than the other ones. This is like super loud now. Finally, 65% better than all this week. Dude, what the hell, man? Freaking with that crazy fever. Like, are you... Hold on, I'm gonna chapter select for a minute. Like, dude, 
what the hell happened to you? You get you got like a crazy flu or something? Like what the hell? When you said you were in the hospital, like So yeah, what I was saying before I like <laughs> before I got like bombarded with everything. Um yeah, some of these stages are shorter, some of these stages are like decent sized. You, which is why I'm like, I don't know if you can beat this game in a couple hours, or if it's gonna be a longer game. Usually top-down shooters are pretty short, um, but there's like, there's a lot of quests to go through. So we're gonna try five, and then we're gonna see our first branching path here, see what's going on here. But yeah, I can imagine they being a little bit shorter because of it being more bullet healthy. So let's see. And you guys will let me know if the audio is a little bit too low or not loud enough. Confirmation about an ar giant armillary spear. So yeah, this is probably a boss battle in the observable territories ahead. Okay. Or maybe not. Okay. So far, I fought like one major boss in like chapter three. Hello. Holy crap. Okay, so that's building up my break. There's like an ultimate move that you can use if you hit the X button. I want to hold out on that. We can because it also uses up shield, so be careful. Yeah, that I didn't realize I can move around like that. That's awesome. Okay, here we go. Woo. Hello. Let Draco. What's going on? Right. <sighs> Can't believe we're progressing like that. Oh, so wow, I can choose two different these both these chapters. Chiori Araki reminisces of her grandfather upon seeing Super Gazillas and Olka. Okay, so we'll do A and then we'll try B afterwards. But yeah, um Draco, what's going on? Yeah, man, out of nowhere, I was really sick Monday, ER visit, etc. Went to work sick today, all I could sleep through my bed. Dude, that sucks, man. You're still... Should you even be at work, dude? Like, you can't just, like, sleep it off or anything, can you? I'm still worried about that French Kratos that I bought? Yo. At least you have a few days to return it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Draco, how you doing, homie? Oh my gosh. Wow, that thing is like, that thing got really loud in my ears. So I'm like taking a moment here. Because I want to also, I didn't do one thing, and that was check the audio sync between my voice and the camera. So I want to see what's going on there. So give me a minute while I'm just like backtracking and checking the uh, stream real quick. It's still a little off, like just slightly off, I'm not sure. Um, does the audio sync sound good in terms of like, it, it, does it match up with my lips moving? I know that's a weird question to ask you guys, but I just want to make sure that everything is as smooth as can possibly be for this stream. <laughs> I'm going to like bump it up to 60 milliseconds and see if that helps out, if anything. Yeah, that seem that seemed to have done the trick. Okay, there we go. It's it's looking good. Probably should have stayed home, dude. Seriously, man. Get the get as much rest as you can, cause it's like I always think of it this way: if if you force yourself to keep doing something and you're not getting better, then 
clearly you need more rest because then you're just gonna stress your body out more and you're never gonna feel 100%. And it's like, to miss out on a few days and to miss out on like, you know, weeks to months of something over something that could be, you know, you could feel better if you got more enough rest and just like medicine and whatnot or fluids or whatever you need. Like, I always look at it that way, like take care of yourself. Oh man, but dude, I'm glad you're at least a little bit better, man. Freaking, that's better than freaking being in the damn ER, dude. Jeez. Did I start playing yet? Yes, we went through two stages. We're knocking them out right now. I'm doing good, Lejo. Yo, that's good. Le keeps. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna do 6A. Let's do this. All right, so our homegirl's at level five already. Let's do this. So yeah, like I was saying at the beginning of the stream, I accidentally played because I didn't know part of this game in Japanese because it started off as that set la as that set language. I was like, wait, what? What? What does that even mean? <laughs> Why is it starting me off in Japanese? Is this a mistake? So I went into the uh, like you can't change the the voice acting. That that's that's set. That's Japanese only. Um, however, hello. However, <laughs> if you go to the options, you can change it back to English. That is a thing. This is Switch exclusive? Um, you know what? I didn't check. I'm not sure if this is. I doubt it. Just because I've seen some of the other games that they've that they've worked on. Uh, Guilty Co, that is. My god, that just gets really loud. Boom. But uh, they've worked on other shooter games, Guilty Co, uh, Strike Witches, Zero Day Attack on Earth, Mamoru uh, Gun Curse, and Raiden Fighter Aces, some of the other games. Uh, they're a Japanese developer. <clears throat> I remember playing a similar game such as this one on Steam. I wouldn't be surprised, dude. There's so many... There's so many freaking um, shooters. It's like, which ones do you pick? And I'm like, I'm trying to be super selective, but they've all been good so far. Dimension Drive, all the Neo Geo ones that you can find on the Switch. This one, my only my only downside, I will say with this one, is the price might be a little bit too high for your for some people looking for good vertical shooters, um, or horizontal shooters for that matter. This one falls in the upper range with $38. Um, I know not everyone's gonna go for that, in, in the uh, shooter range, but there's a lot of replayability, it seems like, to it as well, because you can level up other characters and play as different characters because they have different play styles. Um, granted, they're all shooters, but if I were to recommend it to someone, I would only recommend it if they're in, like, hardcore into top-down shooters like this. That's the only way I could recommend it at the moment. If there was a sale or something, I would say 100%, dude, pick this up. Yo, strike quick, what up, fam? Oh! <laughs> Dude, so sorry. My reception, where I was at, I was waiting online at GameStop. I was trying to watch, I was eating Taco Bell, and then I was at GameStop, and the reception over there was just like, t is always terrible. So I can only wa view streams in audio only, so I can hear what you're saying. But then it started chugging and hicking up, and I was just like, "Oh man, I can't even, I can't even like text him to say, okay, I have to dip out because like my reception is so terrible, dude." Um, but dude, how was Little Nightmares, man? Did you get to finish it? So soon, and another game comes out at the same time that uh, RPG. Wait, what? Dude, I can't wait. Stream Monster Hunter World Beta, yo. I'm there, Draco. I'm there. You tell me when fit. The new God of War comes out on June 30th. Holy moly. Damn, that's six months away. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, around, like, right after E3, that game's supposed to be coming out. Oh, my gosh. 
Yopinage. Yeah, Xenoblade story is so good. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. We're going to go. We're going to do like two more stages and then we'll jump into the next game. Here we go. I was like, could I not do that? So we're going to do chapter 6B and then we'll do 7. But here we go. Right, let's do it. And actually, I, I didn't get to look at detail real quick because I don't know if there's like any more to the ships than. Yeah, this is pretty much it. And there's the humanoid form. Yeah, it doesn't really show whether, like, I don't think I can really... Oh, her name's Luna. That's the pilot's name. There we go. So we're gonna pick Luna. We finally know her name. I'm glad we found it. Here we go. You good, brother? I got to the last session. The last, the last section. It's awesome, funny stream. It was happy to see you. Dude, I, I dipped out right... As you were trying to, you found out that the dude was like glitching into the corner. <laughs> that was hysterical. All right, so we got weapon three right now. We just built up that breaker by shooting that thing. And on the lower right corner, you can see like it's raising our, um, it's raising the level of our weapon. There we go. So if I got up to 500%, we'd be good. It's built up by destroying enemies or using these things right here to kind of help build up your meter. Uh, and you see how quick that went. Yeah, these stages are really short. Wow. What on earth is going on? I'm gonna watch the stream on my phone. Yo, no worries. Uh, be right back going to Christmas tree lane. It's a parade. I'm gonna watch this. Uh, it's like a parade of some sort. Ooh, that sounds awesome, Draco. Dude, enjoy that. All right, here we go. What on earth is going on here? What has a hitbox and what's. <laughs> Welcome to Bullet Hell, Panage. Welcome to Bullet Hell. What I believe whoever did the male voice here does the voice for Zeke. You're joking, right, Panage? Are you serious? It. <laughs> Anyways, we are back. No worries, Draco. Oh my god, that TV, the Bobo Chat thing. Yo, congrats to, sh to Bobo Chat. Freaking hitting partnership. You'll be on your phone? Yo, no worries, homie. The music is super catchy, too. Oh, hello. Yeah, I think it's a boss. Captain, it's a giant Uka. Can build up my meter here. I like that they at least prepare you for the craziness. Uh. Let's try this. Come on. There we go. Hello. Ah! Oh, come on. Really? God. Jiminy Christmas, hello. Oh, 
come on. There we go. Got him. Woo. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was so close. <laughs> Gonna lurk for a moment. Yo, no worries, strike quick. Also, the One Piece World Seeker, I'll be on that the moment it is released. Oh, so there was a One Piece game that just came out on the Japanese eShop uh, a couple days ago. Secret of Mana comes out right before Monster Hunter. Also, Digimon and Dead by Daylight Fighter. Wait, what? Dead by Daylight has a fighter game coming out? This is $38, L1. <laughs> so a little bit more on the price yen. Wow. Okay, I'm glad we got to a boss, though. Some bosses are, like, stupid challenging. The first boss I fought was, like, Chapter 3 or something like that. But... That's where we're going to leave this segment of this episode of Nintendo Spotlight, I should say. For those of you watching the live stream, don't go anywhere. This is going to be for the breakout over on YouTube. So thank you so much for tuning in. That was Rick's Raishin. I hope I said that right. I know I probably didn't. Um, uh, sorry, RXN is what I meant to say because it's all capitals. Anyway, everything's in all capitals. Uh, you can find it on the Nintendo eShop for $38. Uh, digital only from what I've seen so far. However, I it, this is I would I can only recommend this for people that are like really into vertical top-down shooters, whatever you want to call them, shoot 'em ups, shmups. And I I thoroughly enjoy it. I don't regret paying the $38 for it. I treat I think of it as like buying a game on a Vita, which is $40. I'm okay with that. But for someone who's not really into these type of games or is looking to get into these games there are other games out there that i would recommend before going and picking this one up um that's just my own thoughts i think the price might be a little bit too high but that that again that's just me um i i can only recommend this game for people who are like crazy into bullet hell games if it were on sale 100 percent, i would say yes pick up the game you won't regret it um but yes, except that Vita memory is expensive, and damn right it is. <laughs> I'm not okay uh, paying $40 for a digital Vita game. Yo, it's tax-free. <laughs> on, on Sony, it's tax-free. That's the only reason I like doing digital on uh, PS4 and uh, and PS Vita. The games digitally, you don't pay, you don't like freaking, they don't add all the stuff up. So it's like, okay, that's the price and that's it. But anyway, guys. This has been Nintendo Spotlight. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed what you saw here, give it a like, share with your friends, and let them know what we do here. We play video games after work. We spotlight them here. And I'll see you guys next time. So with that, take care. Love y'all. I almost did my intro like four times in saying that. <laughs> I don't know why.